I know it's only right I threw the wheels on there to make sure everything fit right. Got everything mounted. No rubbing, no scrubbing, no grinding, everything clear. Brakes, brakes clear the back of the rim, fine. Everything looking good. You know, I'm gonna have to do some notching because, like I said on my other videos, uh, towards the beginning, I don't want no rubbing or nothing anywhere. That's why I got the back notched. I don't want nothing rubbing. So, uh, I'm gonna wait till I get the engine in. Within the next couple weeks, it should be in her. Body should be down within the next couple weeks. And, you know, once I get that weight in her and, you know, the spring sit where they're gonna sit, that should give me a, a better idea of where everything's gonna hit it. Right now, it's right here. I mean, it might be in the same spot, I don't know, but I don't want to cut now and, you know, it don't be in that same spot. So I just wait until I get the weight in there. I'm going to need a little small notch up here too. Uh, I said I want to be able to go lock the lock with no rubbing. So that's what I want. That's what I'm shooting for. Uh, Everything looking good though. As far as the brake, none of that stuff rubbing. Everything spins freely. Hubs seem like they good. Hope I don't have to replace those. That'll save me a few bucks. Uh, I left the little uh, wires for the speed sensor that's coming out of the hub. In case I need those, I might use that to run my uh, my digital gauges. Since um. Uh, Oh no, I might use the transmission, this electronic transmission, I'm tripping, I don't know uh, I got that thought from But uh, yeah, I might use that If I can't use my transmission for some reason or This might be easier Just programming it to the computer, I read that somebody else did that on uh, LS1 Tech So, you know, that's another option but, Yeah, that's where I'm at Looking good Coming together slowly but surely. Doing it by myself, so of course it's gonna take some time. You know, I ain't rich, so you know. Gotta save up some money here and there. Wifey chip in, you know. Um, little parts and stuff that I need. But yeah, that's where I'm at, man. Y'all love, uh, stay tuned. About to get ready loaded up, my skills coming out. I heard getting towed up. Get ready to roll it back up in the under the body. Um, there's the motor. Sitting there just waiting. Waiting for the cam swap and for me to uh, put the oil pan on. That's about it. Yeah, they waiting. Wire harness already. Uh, where it needs to be. Just need to uh, mount the fuse block and the relays and, you know, a little small stuff like that. But everything here, everything ready to go, everything labeled, everything already shortened for what needs to be shortened. Everything that needs to be extended, already extended. Just need to put some loom on there, you know, a couple of wires. Here's my hots right here, you know. I got everything together, it's just the point of putting it all back together. But, you know, it's coming along. 4L60E, taking a nap down there. She'll be coming out soon and getting a test of that motor. Yes, sir, she's coming along, she's coming along. Nosy neighbor, so I try to keep the wheels covered. I know it's that's the back wheel. See the lip on that baby. But yeah. Oh, man, I gotta get the other side on there. Get that side on there. And 
pick up the wheels from my homeboy. He got some uh, 20s since I can only uh, use 17 or better with these uh, vet brakes. Smallest I can use is a 17. He got some uh, 20s he gonna let me use while I tear these apart, reseal them, uh, you know, check out the tires, make sure I need no more tires. If so, buy some more tires. Um, faces getting brushed, so no more white. Think, thinking about painting the, uh, the little line in them uh, purple, since that's going to be the main color on my car. I already got a lot of red down there. Think about painting that purple with the brush face. It all should look good together. We'll see when I get to that point. Yeah, big boy checking out. Y'all stay tuned.